So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and then type in task manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on the details tab. Then you want to look for anything that says Riot Games or Valorant. So we're going to scroll down. And then if you find anything that says Riot Games or Valorant, you want to right click on it and then click on the end process tree. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and then type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on advanced settings on the left. Then we're going to click on inbound rules. Once you're on this, we're going to click on new rule. Then we're going to click on port. Then we're going to click on next. Once you're on this, I'm going to put two ports below in the description. So first for TCP, we're going to copy this one right here. And then we're going to paste it right here. Make sure that TCP is selected and specific local ports is selected as well. And then click on next. Keep it on allow the connection. Click on next again. Make sure that everything here is ticked. Click on next again. And then you can just call it wherever you want. So for me, I'll be making it Valorant TCP. And then click on finish. Now you want to repeat the same thing. So new rule, port, next. Now you want to select UDP, then we're gonna copy and paste this into here. Make sure that specific local port is also selected and then we're gonna click on next and then click on next again, click on next again. Then we're gonna type in Valorant UDP and click on finish. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and then type in device manager, click on it. Once we're on it, we're gonna expand network adapters then we want to make sure that our network adapter is fully up to date. So if you're using an Ethernet cable, it might say something like this, Realtek PCIe. But if you're not using an Ethernet cable and you're using wireless, I'm going to put something on screen right now that will look similar to that. So once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that it says that the best driver has been installed. If it doesn't, then it will let you install the latest driver. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to find either your Ethernet cable or your wireless Wi-Fi. No matter which one you have, you want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4. Then you want to make sure that use the following DNS server address is ticked. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once you're on it, you want to copy and paste these five commands. So first you want to start with this one, the flush DNS one. So I'm just going to paste it right here and then click on enter. Then you'll do the same thing for all these other commands. Just paste it and then click on enter. Now, once you do everything in this video, restart your computer and then your Valorant packet loss will be fixed. 